Hello again everybody and it's good news the e-bike motor is back from the company that refurbished it performance line bearings wasn't expecting it till Monday that's the message I had but uh, it's arrived this morning and uh, today is Saturday morning I only posted it yesterday so uh, excellent service on that front And uh, here it is. Doesn't it look uh, marvellous? Now, Tony has suggested resealing all these uh, joins with some silicon over the outside or perhaps Vaseline. But uh, a bit limited to what I've got. So what I've got is this special Lanagard grease. Uh, it's uh, moto grease, but uh, it does say it's good for protecting electrics and sealing things. Uh, I've got a specific job for this later on, but uh, I think it'll do this job pretty well. After all, uh, it's very rare that you see a sheep with an electrical fault. Well, uh, I've opened it up and it uh, mm, does smell very sheepy. Uh, I've got a bit of a craving for some... Uh, new potatoes and mint sauce uh, but we better get on with this and I'm just going to smear it over those joints right now let's flip the bike over and give that uh, housing a good old clean before we put the motor back in it. Right now that's uh, cleaned up uh, quite nicely. You can see there are only the two connections. I had that query before about that red plug which seemed to be poked up the seat tube. Now I've shone a light down there and there's definitely nothing down there to connect to. So that does seem like there's no connector for that. I'm also going to clean up these uh, mounting bolts and this gizmo for the uh, chain guard. Right, now it's time to put the motor back into the housing. Uh, remember this has to go through this slot here and I'll tuck that red plug up into the seat post. This red plug here, the one that we think doesn't do anything. And uh, I have to remember to mount this chain guard retainer thing which has uh, gone a bit rusty but we'll slap it on. Um, we need to get this bike working ready for the holiday in a few days time but uh, that may well have to come off again and be rubbed down and repainted I'm going to pop this chain ring back on with that circlip that it came off with. Um, it is worn and uh, it does really need replacing, but I want to check that everything works first. And this will probably get us through our holiday uh, before I can sort out a replacement.
Well, next stage is to put the um, crank, not the crank, the pedal shafty things back on to the crank. And uh, they are different. You see, this one's got more of a bend in it than that one. And they are marked up. This one is marked up right. And you can see there's a right stamp on the bottom of the pedal as well. Or on the shaft of the pedal. Whereas this one just has a left stamp on the pedal, but no markings on the thingy. What is the word for that? Not sure. Can't remember. Anyway. Also have to remember that the one where the chain side is has to have that chain guard put on first. Otherwise, I've got to try and separate the pedal. And that wouldn't be that easy. Also, I have to remember that the bike is upside down. So what was left normally would be right and what's right normally would be left. I hope that's clear. Yeah, this uh, chain guard has really suffered over the years. Um, it is better to have it on. You can see it's had a few repairs with cable ties. Then I'm going to cut all that off and try and effect another cable tie repair, I suppose. Ah. Uh, that's a bit crude, but basically the tension of that cable tie just pulling back holds that against that clip there in much the same way as the original fitment did. And it's pretty solid. Right, I'm just going to give the chain a spray with my um, titanium grease stuff. Right, now I'll make these connections and I think once I've made them I'll put a little bit of that uh, lanolin grease around them as well. The garage is starting to smell quite strongly of sheep now. And uh, then I'll put the cover on and that will trap this thing. Um, now that has to be the right way round. You can see the positive and negative terminals there. And you can see positive and negative on the back of the battery there. So the battery goes in in that orientation. So the way round it is with the positive and negative towards the back wheel appears to be the correct way round. Right, let's just check the battery. Yeah, battery is showing a full charge. So let's click the battery in. And we have a display on the uh, controller. Let's, uh, yeah, we can turn the power up and down. Let's have it on full power because uh, anything less is pointless. Now look at this, uh, if we wheel the bike along we are registering a speed and it wasn't doing that before so that is a promising sign. But of course to be definite about it we need to give it a bit of a test 
Let's uh, try again and see if we can experience the awesome power of the Impulse 2 motor. all for now if you enjoyed this video please share it with your friends give the like button a press and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more uh.